All right, guys. Hey, it's Dark Lord three six five. Back on die rise. And what we're going to do here is we are going to build the liquefier and the trample steam all before round five. So let's see how that works out. So just kind of chilling on round one. There's one of the Mojong parts. And you can hear Max is talking in the background, telling him, telling you blah, 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 blah. That he can hear you now. So what we want to do here on round one is get as many points as we can. So what we do is usually a seven or eight shot to the leg and a knife. And that helps us build as many points as possible. I get a smack on the ass from Nummy Nuts over there. He's like, good boy, you shot somebody. Fucking A. So I shoot him in return. And uh, we get this motherfucker in the little little helmet here. He, he ain't looking too good. <laughs> Look like he has some special needs or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we get double points right there. That's pretty cool. A few more shots and a knife, and now we got enough points. So we're gonna take the elevator, we're gonna go down, way down, and bam. So we get here and we'll pick up a key and trample steam, we trample steam part, and we switch the trample steam part off for the key and put the key back in the elevator to reset the elevator, back up, grab our trample steam part, jump across. And go in through here, and then go through these double doors right here, open them up, turn on the power, and we swap, swap our trample steam part out for the handle of the slickifiers on the table. Now, you guys couldn't see it, but it was there. So, we're gonna shoot him, and he gets smack on the ass from the nummy nuts over here, saying, Hey, good job, fuckface, and I'm like, Yeah, well, whatever, dude. So I haven't even noticed that it's round two at this point, which I think is kind of funny because I was so concentrating on what I was trying to do, I didn't notice the damn round changed. So talk about being self-aware, huh? But we get Max Ammo and saves the day. Go in, get another smack in the ass from Fuckface, and be like, hey, what's up? So I decided to return the favor by shooting him in the fucking nuts. So we go over here and, uh, Got a couple zombies alive, so we're gonna let them go. Just knife him in the face for good measure, just because I felt like it. And uh, I'm just kind of like tripping, just trying to see all what's going on and decide what I want to do. So I'm like, all right, we gotta take an elevator, take the elevator. So we're gonna fast forward here. Fast forward through the boring part. There's Juggernaut. We're gonna jump on Juggernaut as soon as it gets done. Well, hurry up, let's go. And he just kinda like, he ain't looking too good. He ain't looking good at all. So I'm gonna walk his ass over here, jump on the elevator. Come on, elevator. Jump off real fast, go to the table. Put the handle of the slick fire in there. That's done, go to this barrel. There's a part there on the barrel. Build that to the slick of fire. And go over to here and there is a... Canister. So now we gotta go up. So now we're gonna fast forward through this boring part because we gotta kinda buy time till the elevator comes. Come on elevator, hurry up. Any day though, let's go. Alright, so we got on the elevator. Jump up and down for good luck, I suppose. Turn that off. There's that wonderful file. <laughs> Sound file that's fucked up. We're gonna mute that and we'll just voice over. So uh yeah, we got the part for the slicker fire. 
right up here if I could find it and bam there it is I'm like all right because I'm dyslexic I, I get turned around quick on a map it doesn't matter it's kind of scary but it adds some tension to the game for me so it's all good so we're gonna fast forward past this part where this guy's just kind of tripping ass and it's all good come on let's go hurry up elevator all right we get back on the elevator jump off real fast so now we have our last part for the slicker fire and I'm trying to find where I'm going make a left and a right and a left and pff, there you go bam baby <clears throat> and we're done with the slicker fire by round two grab that okay so now we're gonna go build the obelisk table so we're gonna go and fast forward past this real, real boring part right here waiting on the elevator again waiting on the elevator I'm like okay come on let's go let's do this any day now come on so we get back on the elevator <clears throat> jump up and down for good measure just because I felt like it and going to the top and I don't know why I tried to jump out right there I guess I was still in trample steam mode because I was going to go grab that part for the trample steam and then decided you know let's just build the obelisk table and be done with that because we got the slicker fire done so let's go do the obelisk table so now we get up here and go look around and check it out see what's going on over here cool and uh, here comes a bull, bull hair, bull hair guy. <laughs> Great haircut you got there, buddy. Great haircut, all nice and a zombie with perfectly parted hair. That's original. So we're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go up. Nah, nah, I don't wanna go up there. So now I remember where the obelisk table is. It's right there, but I ain't got no parts. And so now I'm gonna, okay, I wanna go find some parts. <laughs> so we go over here and. Should be a part right about there. Here we go. We have our radio we just picked up. And find the obelisk table and build that there. I got that done. All right, now we're going to go find another part. And I'm looking around, kind of going, okay, I know there's got to be more parts on this level. We got the radio. Run him around. Now we picked up something right there that was right by those poles, but that guy was too close, so I'm like, nah, fuck this shit. I'm gonna run his ass back here so he ain't smacking me on the ass to tell him give me an attaboy and we'll build this and put that on there. Okay, so we got that done. That's the board. Alright, we got the board and we got the radio. Now we're gonna run his ass back here. Just to buy us some time. I like playing things safe. Uh, when you're doing Easter eggs, I don't get in a big hurry. I'm not worried about it. Time isn't an issue because I'm not going past, you know, whatever rounds I've already decided that I need to do to get to the part I need to get to. So I'm like, you know, fuck it. So we go over here. I'm like, where's the Easter egg? The little obelisk table Easter egg. There we go. Bam. We got the stone. Run past Nummy Nuts there. And we're going to go back to the obelisk table. Put the stone in there. And bam, now we got the stone. Now we have one more part we're gonna get to. This part right here, I was like, hmm, okay, so I'm gonna fast forward real fast through here. And go to here. Now over here, you jump up here and then jump down. And then go across and jump down again. And then to the right, right there in that corner right there is the electrical panel box. And we grab that. And now I'm like, okay, now what the fuck do I do? I'm like, um, okay, what, what the hell? So I paused the video for a second and went back and looked, and I'm like, "Ew, there you go, dumbass." So I'm like, "Open a door," and open another door. All right, cool. So now I'm like, "All right, now what the fuck?" So now I'm like, "All right, what door am I going to open?" Oh, this door. <laughs> okay, I don't have enough points, so we're going to fast forward through this boring part. Kill zombie. Point whore. Point whore. Point whore. Point whore. And. uh we're gonna get enough points, we're gonna open up those double doors right there. And uh, yeah, we're just kinda of screwing around at this point. So we get him done, we get an insta kill, which is like right on time. And kill some more zombies. And then we're gonna slickify a few. 
right in the face, just splooge in her face and go, hey, you're done. Which, by the way, if I ever splooge purple bubbling shit, call a doctor, please. I mean, seriously, that's just kind of fucking disgusting. So, we have to the obelisk table, we built it, we insert our nav card, our nav card disappears, the nav card is accepted, we are done with our build of the obelisk table and the slickle fire all before the end of round four. So, I just go ahead and kind of screw around a little bit. You know, no big deal. I decided to shoot my wad over there and check out this gun because I never played with it yet. So I'm like, all right, cool. And we're gonna go over here and uh, play with a few of these zombies real fast. And uh, yeah, it's all good. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we have a lot more to come and a lot more different games than just zombies. We're gonna be playing Crisis Three. Uh, Jesus. All kinds of good games. Uh, Killzone, when the PS4 comes out, I'm going to get a PS4. We're going to be playing Killzone uh, and all this good stuff. So we're going to be even playing Killzone 3 and maybe even 2 and uh, see how it goes. So I'm uh, Darklord365 and I'm out. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.